<clears throat> oh, what's up guys? We've got another unboxing. We've got a pair of speakers and an amplifier. Ah, okay, let's get it unboxed. So shout out to the guys at Parasound for sending this out, for sending this out to, for me to check out. Thanks Parasound. This is a pretty heavy amplifier. So uh, if you're thinking about picking it up, make sure you have a helping hand. And this is double boxed, like you can see. Pretty nicely packed. Inside we get a little accessories box. We have a little trigger cable. We get some screws, power cord, and the rack mount. Here's the warranty information. Here's the owner's guide. Okay, so this is pretty heavy. I'm gonna move this and put it on top of these boxes here. Okay. So this comes in a nice little cloth bag. Keeps it from getting scratched up during shipping. The good thing about this is, let me spin this around. There's actually built-in handles here. So it's left and right handles. So if you are picking it up, you can actually just grab it by here and just do that instead of trying to deadlift it like I did. But since we're around back, you do get the handles. Connection-wise, you get your gain controls. You get your RCA unbalance inputs. Looks like there's a little loop output here. I'm not exactly sure how that works, so I'm gonna have to check that out later. We have the unbalanced, balanced switch. Here's your XLR ins. Here's the bridge mono. So you can use this as a mono amplifier if you want to. Power rating wise, if you wanna use it as a mono amplifier, it's 1200 watts into eight ohms. You're not supposed to use this with four ohm speakers, so it's gotta be, so if you're gonna use it as mono, it's gotta be eight ohm speakers only. But it's 400 watts per channel into eight ohms or 600 watts into four ohms. Of course, this is a stereo amplifier. It's a class A, A, B amp. You get the same connections on the opposite side. And then here you have some, your, some trigger options as well. You get your turn on signal sensing. You can choose between quieter or louder, so sensitivity. Or if you wanna do your standard 3.5 mil trigger cable, you can do that right there as well. And here are your binding posts for your speaker connectors. These have a pretty nice grip so you can get a hold of it, put some spades in there or your bananas or bare wire and get that locked down pretty tight. And then on the opposite side here, you get your fuse, replaceable fuse, main power switch, and then your AC inlet. Now if we take a look at the build quality, you can see on each side it has some really nice heat sinks, very big and robust heat sinks on both sides and on the front. Not much going on up here. You get John Curl's signature engraved on the front there. Parasound logo, stereo amplifier, power on off switch, and then you get an LED indicator on the opposite side. And then there's a little, little call out badge that says JC5 to let you know what model it is. If we take a look on the top, it's got the Parasound engraving right here. If you wanted to pop the top on this, which I'm not gonna do because I don't wanna mess anything up. You could pop the top off on here. And if you can see, under the grill, there's a huge toroid, which is purple, stamped with Parasound right underneath there. And some huge capacitors underneath as well to supply all that extra headroom for, for your speakers. Now, if you are gonna place this in your rack, it's pretty big. Size-wise, it's 17 inches wide, which is your standard AV equipment width. It is 20 inches deep. So this is a deep boy right here, very deep. And it's uh, roughly about seven and a half, eight inches tall. So standard 17 inches wide, but it is a very deep amplifier. One of the heaviest amps that I've had in uh, my house so far. So I'm gonna be interested to check this out. But next thing that we're gonna unbox, which this amp is gonna power, are a pair of Barrows and Wilkins 805 D4s. I'm only gonna unbox one because it's a pair of speakers and they're exactly the same. So shout out to Robert over at Value Electronics for getting me a pair of these guys. Thanks, Robert. If you guys want to pick up any of these speakers, any Barrows and Wilkins speakers, visit valueelectronics.com. Check out the website. Let them know that we sent you. They're a good partner of the channels. Inside the box, we get an accessories box. That's a nice little box from Bowers. It says 800 series diamond. 
very nice cardboard box. Underneath, we get some documentation. Nice little booklet for the 805 and the 804s. Some like warranty info, cleaning cloth. Here's the jumper cables and little little stick on rubber feet if you're gonna put this on the floor or a bookshelf or something like that. So if you don't wanna scratch up the bottom of the speakers, you put these little, little bumpers on. So yeah, so these guys are the grills. These will attach right onto the front of the woofer. Also in the box is a little plug. This is a ported speaker. So if you wanna use this in sealed mode, stick that right in the port and you can run it as a sealed speaker. So this is nicely packed, just like all of the other Bauer speakers. Comes packaged just like that. So here we go. This is a pretty hefty speaker. It's 34 pounds. So it's got a little bit of weight to it. Comes nicely encased in a cloth bag. There's some foam on the top and on the bottom so you don't scratch anything up. And here is, here's the tweeter, which is nicely wrapped up. So this looks very familiar to the 80, to the 803 D3s that I did last year, that I reviewed last year, just a smaller version. And the, uh, the cool thing about this year's model is that last year's version, the D3, had a, a front fascia. So this one has the same wraparound enclosure, which I think is like several layers of plywood or birch. And they just take it and they compress it down with glue and they bend it to form the enclosure. So it, it wraps around so you have no like 90 degree angles to uh, interfere, with, interfere with the audio and create distortions and all that. And it wraps around to a solid aluminum plate back here, which is nice. So I guess this kind of acts almost like a heat sink. And uh, in here, the crossover is attached to the aluminum plate which is supposed to keep everything inside, the internal back waves and everything like that from the woofer from interfering with the crossover. This is kind of like the same design that's on the higher end models, the bigger, the bigger versions. And on the back here is where you have your speaker connections. This is a bi-wireable speaker. You can, uh, before you actually, if you want to put your bananas in, there's these little red and black plugs. So if you don't think you can put bananas in there, you actually have to pop these out. Which if you unscrew these, you can pop these little plugs out. And then you can put your bananas in. So I know some people think that they can't fit bananas in there, but there's actually just little, just little plug in there. Dense. Up top here is pretty nice as well. Really premium. There is an actual like leather patch here. So this is all leather, black leather. I think it's different colors for different colored speakers. This is new as well for this year. This is the decoupled tweeter. Same diamond dome tweeter, same one inch diamond dome tweeter, except this whole tweeter enclosure is now just milled from a solid piece of, uh, of aluminum. Whereas the other one was just kind of like a little, little thing on the top there, but this is a, a, a lot longer. You get the same continuum dome driver, which is six and a half incher. Frequency response on this, I think is 42 Hertz up to 28 K. So we should get some pretty good high quality response up top. Size wise, this guy is 17 inches tall by nine inches wide and it is 14 inches deep and it's 34 pounds so it is a it's a hefty little speaker nice size speaker on the bottom here you've got inserts if you wanted to purchase bowers dedicated speaker stands for this so i think the speaker stands are something like 1200 but if not you can always just uh put on some universal stands so this is a ported speaker like i said so if you wanted to use this in sealed mode you take the little plug you just stick that right in there you can run that sealed and this is the rosewood finish. It comes in like black, white, rosewood, and also a new walnut color. Nice little finish. I'm not the biggest fan of rosewood, but hey, it doesn't really match my decor, but it's all right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up, and I'll be back with a full review, and I'll see you in the next video.